Hello, you're on Dysfunctional. Hello, we're here. It's us. Hey, hey. Skip, how are you? Hey, Allison. We're Hi. good. Hello. We're good. How you doing? Hello. We were just talking about the uh, the new Back to the Future documentary that comes out next week. We had the director on last week. We just got to watch it. If you're ever back to the ah, that's, Yeah, that's going to be awesome. Yeah, it was really, really good. The only thing, I don't, I don't even want to say I didn't like about it, but the only thing, I wanted to see two more hours of Michael J. Fox being interviewed because... You know, because it was they had to edit it down. It's like I right. I want to know what else she said. You know, right. was, <laughs> they got they got everyone. The only there's two people they didn't get for that. The one was the guy who played Biff, who wants nothing to do with Back to the Future ever again. Wow. Uh, yeah, uh, right. He was a dick. Yeah. yeah. Well, he used to do all the conventions, and then all of a sudden he's like, "Fuck this," <laughs> you know, not doing yeah, Back right. to the anymore. And then the other guy you would was, think that would have been a good paying gig. I mean, why not keep going, right? Yeah, he's he, he sticking to character. He is true to character. Yeah. Well, you know what? He used to go to those conventions where you, you know, you, you charge seventy five dollars for a for an autograph. He must, right. he must have made a ton of money. And the other guy was Crispin Glover, who didn't even want to be in the sequel. <laughs> you know. Oh wow. Oh. Yeah, yeah, we were just at uh, Comic Con just a couple uh, this past weekend at uh, J Jacob Javis Center in the city. Yeah, and they had a bunch of people like that, a lot of you know movie people mm -hmm. and all the cosplay people, and mm -hmm. you know the same thing. It's like you know you stand online and uh, and you wait to pay to get an autograph or something. I, and I couldn't even believe it. I'm like, wow, these people have like a full time career going from convention to convention, just signing autographs. Right. The guy Jay Aaron that uh, made the back in well, he directed the Back in Time movie. He did a. a a big, I don't know what you call it, a presentation about the movie, and then they gave right. those Pepsi, I was just those say, Pepsi, Pepsi, what are they called again? Pepsi, the, the one from the movie, the, you know, the Pepsi with the shape of the movie. They're only making five thousand of them. They gave everybody. Oh a, right, yeah. right, right. Yeah, I can't. I want to get one of them. <laughs> oh man! Yeah, yeah. One more piece of junk to fit in your house. <laughs> I know, right? Yeah. Well, the, this idiot Bobo that's uh, that's from the old Opie and Andy show, he got one and then he drunk it. <laughs> Fuck it. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> that was the value of it. Well, they only made like 5,000 and that's it, and he, he yep, drank it. And he yeah. Drank it. If I had it, I'd freaking freeze it or something. Yeah. <laughs> uh, you'd freeze it and like break the bottle. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 All right. That's my I'm, a, I'm a fucking idiot. Actually, I went to, uh, I was quite well involved with a, a British soap opera called EastEnders, and we used to get to go to the studio when we went to England. And they had their 20th, 20th anniversary, and there was this cake that was on TV of them all eating it. And when I went there, they had like a slice of cake left, and I took it, and I put it in my freezer for like 10 years. <laughs> oh, my oh. God. That's funny. We did well, that, right? Yeah, yeah. actually, I had one, one of those uh, vacuum seal machines where, you know, you can uh, put food in it. Yeah, yeah, I have one. And, and I did that with a wedding cake. A big, big piece of it was left over, and it was in our freezer for about three and a half years. And just uh, about a month ago, we broke it out and shared it with Skip's mom and sister, Aww. and it was as if it was made the day before. Wow! Now, that's now, great. did you you guys got married on TV, right? Yeah. Yeah. So did that happen before you guys did catch a contractor? Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, way definitely before. way before. Yeah. So was that like your first, uh, you know, exposure as far as you know reality TV was? Oh uh, yeah, like yeah. reality TV. I, I had done commercials and some other. TV stuff uh, yeah. before, but yeah, as far as the reality um, part, yes. Yeah, I had done some commercials too, but yeah, no, no TV. Yeah, that's pretty cool. That's a good way to, you know. I think though, I don't. I mean, I don't know how big that show was. You, I mean, not as big as Catch a Contract. Yeah, it sure. was. <laughs> yeah, well, I don't fucking talk. It, it did one season and that was it. Yeah, we yeah. didn't even care. I mean, like, really, we didn't even care about that because if the. If they paid for everything, you know, so that was oh, the wow. part. <laughs> Shit, I'm getting married yeah, again. Yeah, we had a really nice wedding, and, you know, they they basically did everything for the whole wedding. So it was kind of cool just to be able to do that and, and you know, do, you know that, be part of a TV show was kind of like a bonus, but um, it was a really great experience to do that whole thing. Did, yeah. you, guys, did you guys see the TV show uh, Married at First Sight? No. No. I heard about that, though. They, right, they're supposed to... Just meet each other, like get re married right away. Yeah, yeah. they had a they team. Meet each other at the altar. They had a team of so-called experts that you know pick the match the people up, and they literally ma married ten seconds after they met. And the oh in my the God. yeah in the first series, this chick was so fucking disgusted with the guy she had, she was literally crying in the hallway outside of the wedding thing. And oh, I oh and, ironi and ironically, 
They're from New Jersey, and ironically, a year later, they're the most happiest couple you've ever met in your whole life. But they separated. Really? No, wow. I don't think they did. No, they separated in the end. They went no. their own ways, uh, but they're still good friends. Oh, well. We, there was one couple in the second series that actually... She had to get a restraining order against him. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> God. Imagine if you're like the dude, the first couple, where the girl's like crying her eyes out. Right. Like, <laughs> she was the guy like, had to feel like a total piece of shit. Yeah. Right. <laughs> At least they weren't She's bad. She's like, I don't want to marry him. Well, well they, did, they, did the, they did, they actually did a, the first season was quite successful. The second season, I don't think anyone stayed together. But the first season, uh, a two uh, or three of the couples were together for at least a while. So they did like a year later, but they did a whole series yeah. again. So they had to replay this chick freaking out about how ugly he was like 10 times. <laughs> oh my oh, God. God. That's well, mean. It is a pretty yeah. interesting concept though. I mean, I guess whatever's going to get people to tune in, right? So, I mean, that's something that's, uh... I mean, you know, you almost have to watch it just to see what happens, it's, right? It's like cringe. Oh, God. Yeah, and another, right. <laughs> another great show is 90 Day Fiancé. You ever seen that one? No. Well, that, that one is no. people that meet overseas, and the, you can get this visa for them to come into the country. K-1. It's a, a K-1 visa. K-1. It's only valid visa. for 90 days, and if you don't get married within those 90 days... Bitch goes back to Colombia or wherever she's or from. Him. Yeah, or him. and they've this series that just oh, it wow. just started on Sunday. This f- fifty-eight-year-old guy is importing a nineteen-year-old Filipino oh, girl. Yes, yes. Oh God, that's oh. pathetic. That's, that that's like screwing yeah. your daughter. Yeah, that's, oh, granddaughter. Yeah, granddaughter. Yeah, right? granddaughter. So does she know? Like, does she just wants to come to the country? Does she have any idea who's bringing her here or no? Well, no. Oh, she, yeah. They met overseas, so they spent. You know, most of them spent maybe a week or two together ever. Yes. You know. Oh, okay, gotcha. But the funny wow. story about this guy is, 26 years ago, he imported another chick <laughs> from the Philippines too. Oh, so this is his second attempt. <laughs> you know? Was well, like the mail order wife guy, right? Yeah. yeah. And there was one on the last series. There was this dumpy, like, 50 year old fat chick that was in dead up her ass, and you know they'd come around and try and oh, take right, the, right, they'd right. come try and re- repossess the yes. TV while the, the oh. guys and the guy was from Tunisia, I think he was. And yes. he was like a skinny Tunisia, guy. Yes. He didn't know much English, but he was like a skinny guy. And he, he was and he, Spanish or something. No, Tunisian. Spanish descent or something. And, like and he showed up, and, you know, every 10 seconds, she's like, oh, I didn't want to tell you. They're, they're repossessing the house. <laughs> you know, that's, that's, that's what makes us all look so bad, really, is because we don't necessarily get a lot of programming from other countries, but our programming gets put out around the world right. and this is the image that they get of america yeah and, and you know like they think like they watch jerry springer and think we're all you know like crazy totally yeah. losers <laughs> right. yeah i mean i know the, ma- trash. the married at first sight show they do it in australia now and they did it in england and about two episodes in everybody freaked out and said this is the dumbest shit ever and they pretty much right. canceled it two, two episodes in we don't even know what happened to the couples yeah, that's a good point, though, Ali. We don't really import a lot of other TV stuff. You know, maybe like some of the Spanish stuff, like Telemundo. And like, yeah. Like, we don't really import a lot of other... But they don't cross, like, 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 the people who are watching Telemundo are the people who are Latino and speak Spanish. Right. But in other countries, they're getting our English-speaking programs and getting subtitles. We don't get that on <laughs> foreign programs. They're getting Jerry Springer in Spanish. <laughs> right, exactly. <laughs> exactly. It's, 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 it's funny, uh... Imagine, man. It, it's funny, when, on this, on the 90 Day Fiancé, they have a couple of people that are Spanish. And whenever they say uh, something you quite can't quite understand, they have English subtitles, <laughs> but they're speaking yeah. English. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so we don't well, from what I understand, our show is playing in a lot of different countries all around the world now because we're getting like a lot of people hitting us up on social media right. that are great. coming from like everywhere, like from Romania, Australia, to, Australia awesome. to like all over Europe and like yeah. Asian countries and. I'm like, oh my god! Like, I'm trying to picture myself like yelling, yelling at some contractor in like, you know, Hungarian or something. <laughs> <laughs> well, it, actually, it would it probably sound best in Japanese because I used to work for a Japanese company, and they used to shout at you, and then you'd realize they weren't actually mad. It was just the inflection of whatever they were saying. You know, oh, right, so, okay. so, was, so, so you, you, yeah. you, I mean, the guy would, you, the Japanese equivalent of you is you'd pull a shotgun out on the guy and just shoot him because. <laughs> right. <laughs> oh my God. Yeah. It's very different. Yeah. But I, it's like funny when I think about that. And some of the people that hit us up on social media, I guess they can speak English because they'll, or maybe they can't some of them because they friend request me or whatever. And then like, I'll, you know, uh, they'll message me like, you know, Hey, thanks for the, for the, you know, accepting the friend request. But it's in some other language, you know, whatever 
like, and, like I have no idea what the fuck they're saying. <laughs> <laughs> and, and every once in a while, there'd be messages where he only recognizes a couple of words, and it's like sexy and you know and love or something like like there's a couple of words in there that that he knows what they're talking about. Yeah. <laughs> And most of them are from, like, gay guys, like, all around the world. So, <laughs> <laughs> so you, as soon as you see, like, you know, the word, like, uh, stud or, like, you know, <laughs> sex or something like that, I'm like, yeah, okay, I, I know where you're coming. I don't have to know what language to speak to know what you're trying to say. You know, if, if, I, if, I, if that was happening to me, dude, I'd just go to the buffet every day for, like, a year after that so I don't uh, look sexy to him. <laughs> <laughs> well, I guess, I guess it's lucky that you and Alison are swingers, right? Yeah. <laughs> I didn't hear you. I, I said I, it's lucky that we're swingers. <laughs> oh yeah, absolutely, sure, yeah. That would make it interesting. Yeah, yeah really. But you know, it's just rough. Hey, everybody recognizing our face. Hey, we're going to Guatemala to ha have sex with two Guatemalans. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we have to like put on disguises. Or yeah, something. yeah. <laughs> yeah, you don't want TMZ picking you up at the airport on the way to Cambodia. <laughs> No, we, yeah. thought, we, thought, we thought about that. Like, well, what if we ever were to do something like that? We couldn't do it because yeah. no matter where we go, people would know, like, who it was. Well, we need one person to recognize us, and then they'll be asking us or telling other people. It's like... Oh, yeah. yeah. Well, the, yeah, the, thing was, was... the thing with social media is the video will be on YouTube 10 seconds later, and everybody oh, will share yeah. it. Yeah. You know? Yeah, seconds every, later. Absolutely. I mean, even the poor kids in India have got camera phones, you know? <laughs> Crazy. Yeah, yeah, there's hidden cameras everywhere, you know, it's like, seriously, I walk into the grocery store now, or like the gas station, and it's like, I'll, I'll put on like a hat and sunglasses, and people will be like, dude, I love your show, and I'm like, really? <laughs> you know who I am. You're in your pajamas, you haven't took a shower in three days. <laughs> Yeah, exactly. I'm all like grubby. I haven't shaved yeah. and shit. I'm like, I don't want to see anybody. You know, I just want to go out and get like a container of milk or yeah, something. Yeah, exactly. Like, Leave me alone. <laughs> so, so how you, your background? I, I I was reading one of your bios. You know, you, your you, your your history is your family was always into contracting and, and home improvement, right? You got a big background in that. Uh, yeah, I come from a family of carpenters and uh, home builders and, you know, boat builders. I grew up in a marina. We had, like, wood shops all over the marina. And so I, I learned woodworking, like, you know, from a very young age and watched everybody before me do it. And, um, you know, it goes way back. So I, I have, like, a deep past with it, and I, and I love it. You know, it's more right. than just, like, something I started doing just for a career. It's it's in me. Wow, that's cool. So and then it got in me. Yeah. <laughs> We're going back to the yeah. swinger thing now. So then I introduced Alice into my wood. <laughs> it, it, mu it must be cool because, you know, when it gets too short, you can just make a new one. That's right. Yeah. I'll just whittle up a new, yeah. uh, a new, a new wood. I, I, I want a wider one, Skip. Can you get me a wider one? Yeah, you can. Oh, yeah, no, it's wide. Yeah. <laughs> Photo Sorry. Photos to come uh, on the internet. I'm already having problems with that. She keeps saying no, so. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I had that trouble with my wife, too. The first time we had sex, she, she, I'm like, wow, you're tight. And then I realized that she had her underwear on. <laughs> Oh, God. <laughs> 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 Is that true? Yeah, no, I hope no. not. No, the first oh, time God. he did it, he didn't. He couldn't find the hole. I had to oh, direct God. him. Oh God! Hey, I was I was like uh, I was like 22? nine. I was like twenty or <laughs> You're twenty one, and I fucked like one chick there, and I, and I came over. I I, I could have been on ninety day fiance. I mean, my wife is hot, and the chicks I was chasing at high school were pigs. And I still couldn't oh, get. Yeah. I still couldn't get no well, sex. You start somewhere, man. You know, you yeah. gotta work your way up to the hot chick. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and you know, everybody knows that the harder the chick, the harder it is to fucking you know last a long time. If you're if you're married to you know, Honey Boo Boo's mom, I could probably fuck her for four and a half hours. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you, you gotta put those other thoughts into your head, you yes. know, like, what, what were you telling me, nice. Allie, like, yeah, thinking, like, uh... Rosie O'Donnell, Rosie O'Donnell, Rosie O'Donnell! <laughs> well, <laughs> it's, it's, it's funny you say that, and not Rosie O'Donnell, but I, I think of American football, I'm, like, here in first down, second. I don't know anything about American football, because I'm obviously British. Uh, uh, I'm, like, you know, <laughs> I'm like, okay, they're throwing the ball, and it's a, it's a catch, and you know, I'm like, you know... <laughs> oh, God! <laughs> Whatever distracts your mind. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> oh, exactly. What you're doing, right? So you met Allison where? We uh, we met in a Home Depot, actually, um, of all places. So probably the most unlikely place to meet somebody, but that's just the way it worked out. And uh, it was one of those love at first sight types of things. So what? Yep. what my question is, though, what aisle were you in? Whoa. Um, he, he was at actually the end of an aisle, and I was paying 
and I was uh, on my way out of the store. Did you notice that Skip didn't not... remember that? <laughs> well, no, our, our eyes kind of, we, we kind of like, uh, we kind of ran into each other as she was leaving the store, and we, you know, kind of, it, it was obvious there was something going on there, and then right. she left and wound up coming back. About five, ten minutes later. T she took, yeah. ah, and I'm like, wait a second, second didn't I just see you in here a few minutes ago? <laughs> she, she, she took your license plate and ran a background check on you before she came back. <laughs> <laughs> had to get out to the uh, computer in yeah. the old squad car there. <laughs> so, so how did you come about to do the show? Because I know that's in Southern California. Did you, did you pitch the idea to, to, to Adam or some or a no, TV show? No, no, no. It's not. Uh, we weren't involved with the with the idea. I'd love to take credit for that. Right. But the people that uh, that put it together work with our production company and guys that have been developing the idea for years, and they hadn't really fine tuned it. It was kind of like a rough idea. Uh, but they had approached me, um, oh, it's going on like, it's quite a few years ago now. Yeah, it's about three, um, over three. Uh, you know, they, they actually called me up one day on the phone. They had seen a YouTube video of like a demo of some commercials, TV commercials that I have done. and some like a thing I did, a tool segment for like the Today Show. Um, it was like a five-minute demo on YouTube right. that we made up of just like, like a reel of all my stuff that right. I had done on TV. And they were looking for someone that was actually a licensed contractor. They didn't want any actors or because there's right. no scripts on our show. Mm -hmm. So they had, um, you know, kind of put out a casting call, but not. It's, I guess you call it a casting call, but it wasn't really because they weren't looking for actors. But they had gone through about I don't know 40 or 50 people from what I've been told, and they were not able to find the right guy because evidently it's hard to find someone who's actually a licensed contractor, actually you know, practicing in the trades, but right. also has some TV experience. Um, and if, if they do exist, most of them already have TV shows. Yeah. So they contacted me just kind of out of the blue one day and said, you know, would you be interested in, you know, coming out and, and you know, we're putting together a sizzle reel. It wasn't even like they hadn't even sold the show yet. So it was interesting how the whole thing kind of unfolded. But one thing led to another, you know, mutual contacts and uh, Adam, of course, um, you know, a, a big player in that whole arena. He knows everybody out there, and he also has a big background in construction. Right. So it was like a perfect match, you know, that he and I kind of got together with the thing. And uh, it's an interesting chemistry because we're, you know, we're just, we make a very effective team. Right. I, I noticed that, you know, he's he's the comedy angle, and you're the I want to punch you angle. It's very good. <laughs> yeah. It's very yes. good. Some, sometimes <laughs> how... <a> <laughs> you, you know, there's a British show that... You know, I wonder if a little bit was taken from, or, or the idea came from, called Rogue Traders. Have you ever heard of that one? Yeah, I saw a little bit of that. It's not really. It's kind. Of, it's different. You know, right. that, it's it's got a different feel to it. Yeah, well, you and know, it didn't. It, it wasn't developed from anything. That no, no, no. I'm not saying they copied show. it. I'm just saying, you know, because Rogue Traders, what they do is they 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 get the guy to come to the house, kind of similar to you guys do. But what they do is they set up uh, like a heating unit. They they disable it in some very simple way. And then they let the right. guy they let the guy give some old lady who's an actress like a quote of like you know five thousand dollars to fix this when all it needs is a fuse, you know. Right. Right. And, it's, and like that, the, it's like those um, investigative shows. Yeah. Like they do um, investigative news type right. of things where yeah. they set somebody up to give yeah. a, and they say that, that that's a really expensive to fix, but it was like really only like a loose screw. Yeah. They have like they have a yeah, guy like usually like they'll take a car to a mechanic shop, you know, and it has like you know they just pull a fuse out or right. whatever, and yeah. like you know exactly. the, the guy will tell them they need a new motor, yeah. you know, or whatever. The, the, the people they pick have, have ripped people off, you know, and that's where they got their names from. But they don't make them do the work; they just put them on TV and make you know put their van with their phone number on the side of it on the TV, so no one ever uses them ever again. Right. right. You know, so, so you know, with our thing, you know, we're really about getting justice for people. You right. know, so these are people that have already been obviously if you've seen the show, they've yeah, already yeah. been wronged and they're kinda mm -hmm. like on their last leg. They don't really have many other options. And we have our website out there, catchacontractor.com, which is where we get all of our stories from. Um, and people writing to the show from uh, you know from all over the country, from all over the world really, you know, looking for help because they they're just kind of at their uh, they're on their last leg. Right. So it's been a great opportunity to really go out and help a bunch of people. So in that sense, it's a, it's a, a very unique concept because there's no other shows out there that are doing anything like this because we, more than anything, of course, we want to fix the house for the people and give them what they set out to get. But it's very important for us that we also kind of educate the viewers. That's a big part of this show, to kind of keep people from getting into this situation in the first place. Because right. people really don't know how to go through the process, you know. And 
a lot of people are, are afraid to deal with, you know, strangers in their house. They don't know the right questions to ask. They don't know how to do it. And many of the cases that we get into, it's like, you know, it's almost like they got themselves into the trouble because if they would have seen the red flags, they wouldn't have hired the guy. So we try to educate the viewers. Of course, you know, we inject some comedy into it, which kind of lightens it up a little bit, but right. it's a very serious subject. So, yeah. um, and these people are all, you know, when we get to them, they're, they're, I mean, they're, they're like on their last legs and, and many times in a very desperate situation. Um, and the guy that you see the contractors that we go after, we also give them a shot to redeem themselves. Right. You know? So it's not just, even though it seems like we're kind of beating up right. on them a little bit, uh, and in many cases, they kind of deserve it, you know, because some of these guys are really just people that got in over their head, and some of them are they set out to do the wrong thing to begin with. So right. we kind of figure that out in each show. Everyone's different. And, you know, we give them a shot to redeem themselves. Of course, most of them aren't very good at doing that. Right. But at the end of the day, they, there's a sense of justice, sir, one way or the other. And that's, that's really what sets us apart from all the other, like, kind of DIY remodeling shows out there. Um, we're the only one really that most of them kind of like, man, somebody really messed up your house and, and the whole show, like they show you how to do it the right way. And then there's a big reveal at the end. Right. We're the only one that actually goes out and gets the guy that did it wrong in the first place. You know, have you, have you ever had anybody call your show and complain about someone because they know how good work you do and they're going to take advantage of the show? Do you think? Um, yeah, right. I mean, what do you mean like people trying to get the, um, us to go to their house and fix it. Yeah, because like I mean, you know, most of the jobs. That, oh yeah, I mean, there's yeah. people like that on and every and every, all of those shows. You know, mm -hmm. like it's you know, there's a, there's a, everywhere people are trying to get something for nothing. You know, but yeah, right. but there's a very very thorough screening process that goes into vetting the homes that we feature on our show. You know, okay. there's, there's a lot of research that goes into it and and fact checking. You know, there's just I think that there was a family that had sued the contractor and won and got the money that they, you know, were awarded in court, but yet they still tried to have the show right. feature them and say, because they, when they got the money, they didn't repair their home with it. Yeah. So nice. now they're yeah. trying to get us to go after the guy. Right. right. You know, it's like things like that. You yeah, know, we've come across quite a few. We don't really get involved with the casting process. Right, right, right. Like right. reviewing the stories of the whole whole, uh, you know, bunch of people that are that are on our team that really handle all that, and they're very good at it, uh, because it is a very hard process that, you know, the stories come from all over the place, and... Um, you saw what happened in season one with the Floyds, that, uh, you know, unfortunately, they got over a bit, and, uh, you know, they weren't very honest about what, what had gone down with the contractor, and it turned out that they were the ones who were making up the stories, and, you know, they ended up getting their house fixed, and, and it turned out that the contractor, what was his name again? Uh, Tom Turner. Tom Turner, yeah. You know, it's, it turned out that he was actually a pretty good guy. You know, yeah. he had done everything the right way. Well, you that know was what? an episode that we did where it kind of turned around, you know, on, on, the, on the other way. But, you know, most of them are what, what you see. Right, you know, right, right. Or like, you know, other people have gone through a tough time. But, yeah, to answer your question, uh, it is, it's a tough process, and it's a very rigid criteria, evidently, to, in order to get on the show. Yeah, I mean, I, watch, I watched the TV show Catfish. I don't know if you watched that. And, and the last... Yeah, a little bit. Yeah, the last series of Catfish, I, 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 about three episodes out of ten were people scamming just to get on TV. Oh, uh, really? Yeah, yeah there was... You know, what's going to happen yeah. with anything like this, you know, that, that something, yeah. people are getting something for nothing. Yeah, like even all, even we got married on TV. Nobody checked to see if we were already married. Right. Nobody, you know what I mean? <laughs> like we could have been anybody, you know? Yeah. Well, no, they no they, they like they didn't do any background checks I, on us to see I, if we no, were married already, and just wanted to have a, a TV wedding. I think they kind of do. They did some kind of some sort of background check. No, they do like a background check to make sure you're not a criminal. You know, like right. your driver's license, but they don't really yeah. check into you that deep like that. Well, you know what it is when they're trying to start a TV show off like that. It's probably got ultra low budget and they just pick a bunch of cute looking people and just do the wedding so they can <laughs> you know what i mean i mean how did you even, how did you even find that was that something like paste on craigslist or something uh no it was it was in like the trade yeah okay. was, i was looking for commercials online uh, you know we're, we were looking for stuff you know like i was as i said i've been doing commercials and stuff before and other type of like um institutional videos and training videos and you know things like that like e-learning things and stuff so uh from time to time, we were looking for, you know, castings for things like that for me. And it actually just showed up in one of the casting um, Yeah, it was like if you're sites. getting married, like a small wedding on a budget, and, and if you want to get married in an iconic New York City location, you contact us, well, you know, cool. and tell us your story. 
Huh. And then, uh, like, oh, that sounds good. Yeah, yeah really. I was like, okay, well, that's, I that's, it. that's us. We just bought a house. That's a lot. That's a lot, a lot better than a plane ticket to Vegas. Yeah, a lot cheaper, a lot better, better deal. Uh, you know, there's, yeah. always, there's always someone trying to get over on someone. Because I mean, I read there's some like lawsuits for you. Obviously, you can't talk about that stuff. But it made me it remember it reminded me of a British show called Changing Rooms. That's, it's on BBC America, and what it is is people call up and complain about a room in their house. And then someone else complains in the same town and they, they swap the people over and they fix each other's houses. And this one episode, they fixed this lady's house, but they t it looked like a brothel by the time they were finished. And when they did the reveal, the woman just flipped out, started crying oh. and screaming. And, and, and it, it was so bad, you know, there was headlines in the newspaper the next day, you know, BBC destroys people's house, you know. And the newspaper ended right. up paying for them to fix it again, <laughs> you know. Right. Yeah. yeah. People are just very litigious, yeah. you know, and, and you just have to take it from where it comes, just yeah. like everything else in life. You know, you have to think about what's really behind those kinds of things. And, mm -hmm. and you know, a TV show like ours, where we are featuring people who are doing poor quality of work and not doing the right thing and not getting the permits and ex inspections that they're supposed to be getting. You're kind of accusing them of something. You can definitely yeah. assume that our show is getting all of those things right because we most definitely don't want to have Skip or Adam featured <laughs> as right. the uh, subject of the bad contractor on yeah, our show. Absolutely, you know? absolutely. Do you, do you, I mean, I'm assuming that everybody to be on TV has to sign a paper, right? Is that, I mean, in England, they don't have to do that. If you're out in public, you're, you can be put on TV. There's nothing they can do about it. But I'm sure they do. Yeah, I'm sure there's some sort of release process. We yeah. don't get involved with any of well, that. Well, no, I, I, I was just wondering if there's, have you Netflix ever had any episodes where somebody wouldn't sign and then you couldn't show it on TV or you've never even had that? Everyone's been pretty much on TV that you've done? Uh, I can't say that I really know that. Because okay. It, like, again, it, that's not something that we, we get involved with outside of it. Uh, but I, I'm sure that there has to be some sort of, you know, release process or somewhere yeah. along the line. But, um, yeah, that's that's kind of, we're more, you know, we're more like an uh, on-camera type of right, thing. Right, no, I understand. Yeah, like we, what you see us doing is what we're doing, so we don't get involved in that stuff. Yeah, no, it was just interesting because I, I watch, uh, like, the first 48 and stuff like that, and those guys, even the guys that, like, were murderers, to, for their face to be on TV, they got to sign a paper, and I'm like, why would you right. sign? Why would you sign a paper to be on TV? You're a child molester. Why would you do that? Yeah, yeah it's bizarre. Um, right? I, mean, I guess everybody wants their 15 minutes, right? Of course, yeah, <laughs> you, you know? would think. Oh yeah, you know. I, I would Any publicity is good publicity. <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> All right. So then it, my yeah. wife has a uh, question, actually a contractor question. So I, I don't know if you want. Okay, to... shoot. Go ahead, buddy. I'm ready. Okay, so we have a basement that is flooding. All the time. Uh huh. Okay. And I mean, we had like when we bought the house, there were like these covers on the outside. Like plastic. Like... Yeah, these plastic covers on the outside. Oh, the, outside, the, of the window. Basement windows. Yeah, right. On the basement windows. Okay, so you have. Let me get the picture straight. You have basement windows that are just barely below grade, and you have a well around the windows, and there's yes. a cover over the, over the yes. well, right? Exactly. Yes. Okay, got it. Yep. Okay, and we're finding that we're every time of a heavy, heavy rain. Okay, mm -hmm. from the one window, we're getting water pouring in. At first, we thought maybe it was our water heater that was, you know... It did get better when we added the plastic, but it's not stopped. So what we're wondering is, you know, there's always this talk about water. It's a concrete basement, so it's not like, you know, it should leak. But can water come in through the brick on the side? Well, con concrete is not necessarily going to keep the water out. There's always going to be fine cracks. And concrete, you know, just inherently by its nature will crack over time. So... Um, if your house is, you know, a little bit older, um, is, it, is it a new house? No, was it, it was built? built, I think, in what, 77? Oh, 73 or 76, okay. I don't remember. All right, so you, you're looking at like, what, 40 years or right. so? Um, all right, so what happens typically with houses is that at, over time they will settle. And right. when you first build the house, you kind of build it up on, up on a hill, meaning that the grade or the angle of the, the, the land usually slopes away from the house and that's done intentionally so when water comes off the roof and it comes down through your gut rain gutters and out the leaders it empties out and you know somewhere near the house but it runs away from the house it doesn't run back toward the house right. many times in houses that are you know around your age or even earlier than that um, they'll start to settle and the ground around the house will the pitch will reverse the actual the house will go from being at a higher point to actually sometimes even lower and that pitch will now be a negative pitch right so 
what you can do is walk around your, your house, and where, especially where you're having problems, you know, put a level on the ground. You can probably even see it with your eye. You put a level on the ground right up against the foundation mm -hmm. and see if the ground is level or pitched back toward the house. You don't even want it level. You want it pitched down. You want there to be, you know, a hill, a positive pitch so the water runs away from the house. So if the water is running away from the house, it's not going to want to get back inside that well. So more right. than likely, you're having a grading issue there where the water is coming back, especially when it rains very heavy and it's collecting faster than it can run, drain away from the house. Right. It's going to find anywhere, anywhere that it can to get into. And if that well is at a lower point of elevation than just a few feet away, it's going to run to the well. Right. Yeah, we put so, extenders on the gutters. It got a lot better when we put like really long pipes on the bong on the gutters, like like ten yes. feet. That, you know? That's always a huge problem. That's the other problem that people have. So either you have a, you have a great problem around your property to where the, the land is pitching back toward the house, and that mm -hmm. can be easily corrected with you know putting some fill around the outside of the house and correcting that slope. The other problem that people have is that they don't have the proper rain gutter set up, and Either they're clogged and they don't clean them properly so the water can't get down those drain pipes and just overflow onto the ground right next to the foundation. Or the pipes that come out, the leaders at the bottom, don't have a big enough extension to get the water away from the house. So if right. it just comes down, and sometimes they have like a little elbow at the bottom of that pipe and it mm -hmm. kind of just bends out maybe six inches or so and, and then it stops. Yeah. Right. That's the way most leader pipes end. And if you don't have something... Uh, connected to that that will get that water away from the house, the water eventually is going to kind of, you know, make like a like a rut in the ground there, and it will start back. to get back toward the house. Yeah. So if you get a he very heavy rain, it doesn't have anywhere to go, and it will come back to the foundation. So most foundations are going to have some sort of cracks in them, and over time the water will get down and you'll get in your basement. So those are the main things that cause problems. with water. If you correct the, the, uh, the rain gutters and you check the pitch around the property, also, with that well that you have, you know, look inside the well and see where the well connects to the to the foundation. Is there any cracks there? Is there any openings well, or around the, the frame of the window? Does it need to be silicone, maybe? Okay. okay. Here's another thing, too. We found that there is a black walnut tree growing inside the well. Yeah. Somehow oh, wow. it's, yeah, it was and there when we, we built the house. Yeah, somebody like that's they very cut nice it down, wood. If you can let that grow in. a few years, you might be able to make a piece of furniture out of that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, it's literally yeah. inside the metal. It's pretty hard to find well. that tree. Yeah. <laughs> if you, if you want it, you can come over and take it. it it's, it's oh yeah, we'd love to. We'll transplant it. Yeah. Yeah. Well, <laughs> what do you think? Table out of that thing in a couple of years. What right? do you think of these companies that like will come waterproof your whole basement for twelve hundred bucks? Is that what are they, they? They what are they spray something around the basement to seal it up? I mean, what are, are they any good? Or are they all... there's, a, there's a couple of different processes. Uh, many times they will dig around the whole house. They'll dig a ditch around the whole house and waterproof your foundation. They use like a fabric, like a mesh fabric, mm -hmm. and they apply a tar and they seal it right to the foundation. They tar it. Right, with, uh, you know, where it's going to be below grade, below the dirt. Right. So any moisture that gets back to the house, first of all, that'll seal up the cracks and that type of thing uh, that you have in the foundation. But also any moisture that gets back to the house, it'll hit that tar uh, barrier and it won't be able to penetrate. They can also come from the inside if you have bare concrete walls and it's not finished down there. No, it's they not. They can seal those walls with a concrete sealer. Um, there's uh, many different types that we use. One is dry lock. Um, you can buy it yourself, actually. You just apply it with a roller. It's really not very hard to do. You can go online and just watch a YouTube video on how to apply dry lock, mm -hmm. and you purchase it right in your hardware store, um, and that will seal up the concrete from the inside. Mm -hmm. So it depends on what they're going to do. If they have to dig around the outside of the house, that's a big job, and I would say it's definitely going to be way more than $1,200. Okay. Yeah. Is this so the, they're is, probably talking about coming doing it on the inside and dry locking it, but you'd, you'd have to check that out. And so find is, so is, there, is this the kind of stuff you talk about on your Hammer and Nails podcast, this kind of stuff? Oh, uh, yeah, we talk about those kind of things. We talk about everything on our podcast, right, Allie? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I know. I, 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 I think she... I mute for a minute because I was doing... Oh, okay. I don't want yeah, to we talk about just about everything. Everything. There's nothing off limits on our podcast. <laughs> it's actually turned out to be very different than we had planned when we first went into it. Oh, sorry. Because when we first went into it, we were going to be, um, like, we were just going to answer stuff about our relationship at first. Like, people wanted to know stuff about us, and they had stuff about Catch a Contractor. But then once we started talking 
it kind of went everywhere. We just started, like, nothing is off limits. And it's it's become, like, where Skip's giving tips, and, and I'm giving tips about other things, and, and it's just everything, like, right? And it's turned out to be funny. We didn't plan on it being funny because we never really considered ourselves funny or comedians or anything, mm-hmm. but that's the feedback that we're getting from everybody is that they they are just laughing a lot. Yeah, we're getting a lot of really good feedback. Yeah. People are really enjoying it, so it's been it's been cool to hear that. Yeah, how many it. how many episodes have you done so far? Thirty. Uh, you're wow. ahead. You're ahead of us. This is number fourteen for us. Oh, good for you. Yeah. Oh, cool. All right. Keep plugging away, man. Yeah, we do twice. They do twice a week. Yeah, you do twice. Ah, week. they do twice. So we're right. pretty much the same number of weeks. Yes. You just done twice as many shows. Do you take calls on your show, or you just t- you just do your talking or? No, uh, we will. We haven't yeah, done that yet. We will eventually. We're, we're taking listener questions online, so, you know, okay. on Facebook and Twitter and that type of thing, and we get tons of questions from our fans and stuff, so that's a really good, but we'd like to take live uh, live calls uh, once we get that system set up, and also at some point maybe do some in-person interviews. Yeah, it's, it's, it's a lot of fun. It really isn't that hard. You just need, like, a board and a laptop and a, and a copy of Skype. I mean, it really isn't. As, it used to be years ago where, you know, you have to be at a studio, you know, millions of dollars worth right. of equipment. Now you can do it for, like, $500. It's amazing. Right, right. Yeah, yeah we've, uh, we've been, we're having a good time with it. And uh, we record with uh, with Joe Cumia, who, um, who Big A knows. Yep. Oh, yeah, we, uh, we, know, yeah. we know him. Yeah. We really know him. Well. Of course. You guys, you guys know Joe too, right? Joe, of course. Yes, very well. Yeah. Oh, cool. All right. Yeah. So we're having a good time with that, and some of the shows we do with him, we've been recording some at our house too that we call on the ranch, and that's uh-huh. when we do them right here at home. At the ranch. At the ranch. <laughs> at the ranch. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, yeah, we're having a good time with it, you know. So people really seem to be digging it too. We're getting uh, we're getting good feedback. So are we going to see Great. you guys at uh, Halloween this year? Yes. Yo, you're going right. to be at the party. Yeah. Awesome. Of course. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I was relieved when I heard it was 80s. Well, it started oh, off. Yeah, I can't wait. It started off being just Wasn't Back to the Future, right, Big A? And Wasn't then... it going to be like movie themed? Yeah. Or, or yeah. Oh, no, um, it was Back no, to the Future. Uh, Joe, Joe said he was, they were talking about doing Goodfellas, maybe? The first thing that I heard was Back to the Future, and then they said something else, and then actually, they said 80s. Uh, uh, actually, it's all uh, uh, 80s. It's, it's uh, music, it's TV. I was movies. thinking about going as a Rubik's Cube. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. oh, what funny. are you going to be, big guy? Uh, um, he, he's going to be his know, libido yeah. from 1980. Uh, uh, <laughs> I, uh, I don't know yet. Um, still thinking. Can, I thought you He'll had an idea. Can you say you had an idea, or you don't really? Mm. Mm, he doesn't. He doesn't want to let it out in case somebody else. Because it's such a great <laughs> idea. I, 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 he said it, but I can't remember yeah. what it was. Maybe I'll be Madonna. All right. Well, you'll just surprise us with it then. <laughs> He's going to be right. some convicted rapist that happened in the 80s, like, you know, the BTK. Was it in the BTK? <laughs> you know? Yeah. I haven't decided what I'm going to do yet. It's going to have to be something. Uh... Yeah, I wanted, to, I wanted to get some uh, hair on him and do the flock of seagulls again, like he used to. Oh, oh my God. God. Come on, I love them. Dye your, ha- dye <laughs> your hair blonde so awesome. and put a big streak through the middle of it, look like a skunk. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That would be awesome. I love the 80s. Yeah. We'll figure out something good. Yeah, that's coming up quick, right? So that's just a couple yeah. weeks from now. Yeah, so it's like two oh weeks. Why, yeah. Why? So, yeah. Alison, we really haven't touched on, I mean, obviously, you're a private investigator. It's kind of neat that, you know, you guys went to the show and then you could you both on it. So that was kind of cool, right? Yeah, that was kind of a very cool coincidence. I just went along for the ride with him when he went to California to work on the sizzle reel. And then, as it turned out, that was an actual part of the show, and they didn't know that that was what I actually do for a living. Right. And so it it really it couldn't be a better fit because you know who's going to work better with Skip than me. Right. And uh, you know there was going to be a, a three part team, so it, it it was just ideal. The only thing I don't yeah, that worked out really good because we're we're out there. You know, it's 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 quite a long time. You know, the whole process of making each season of the show. Right. So it's usually. A number of months. Um, so, as it is, you know, we we travel a tremendous amount with the show, and sometimes we're we're apart. You know, like I I live out there mostly for the whole season, and then Alice is back and forth because she still has a full time government job. She's in law enforcement uh, as well as being a licensed private investigator. So, you know, she's back and forth sometimes a couple times a week from New York to L.A. But the fact is, we still get to do it together, which is really great. Yeah, I'm with him, like, everywhere 
He is. He's with me everywhere I am. So, you know, we get to enjoy the whole experience together. Yeah, I was going to say, the only thing that I just disappoints is that you guys get along so well. I just want to see a cat fight, you know, where she gets pissed uh. off at, you know. <laughs> nope. No, 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 they, not, yeah. out, they even cut out when we kiss hello. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah, the show is recorded in California. Yeah, so Cal yeah, the, the whole show is in California. So you had well, to go. You know, as of as of right now, I mean, we've been we've been kind of like tooling with the idea of going to different places. I was wondering that. I was wondering that because you know I I, I noticed that you know when you watch the show, it says, "Hey, if you have a prom and you're in Southern California," I'm like, "There's got to be some people in New York that got some real freaking old school crooks ripping them off and ripping their houses people apart." People don't pay attention to that at the bottom of the screen. They yeah. just if they got a problem, they they apply. People have been writing to us, you know, on our Facebook, and you know, and it's it's like, you know, everybody's dealt with this kind of situation. So, you know, we want to help as many people as we can. So, but it's not really up to us where we go. No, I understand. You know, the, I, I just, so, yeah, I just wonder if you know, if, marching orders. If, eventually, everybody in California is going to be like, oh shit, I wonder if Skip's going to be here. You know, so maybe, <laughs> yeah. maybe you should move, yeah, you know, move to Chicago and do a series, you know, and then move to California. I mean, so like New York, yeah. and, you know. There's so, talks of, uh, of going to different places uh, in the upcoming season, so we're looking forward to oh, that. That'll be chance great. To really disclose where they'll be yet because uh, mm. we don't even know yet. Yeah, but, that's cool. Uh, we're, we're looking forward to maybe branching out and helping some people in some different areas. So that would be cool. Yeah, that would be very cool. Okay. What's like yeah. one of the best like advice, whatever, that you can give somebody who's looking for a contractor? Like what before choosing one? Like what should they look for and what they sh what you know? What should they they, is oh, I can't even speak right. Is, right. is Angie's <laughs> list a good source or is I mean, you know that kind of thing? Or? Um, I don't honestly. I don't know a lot too much about Angie's list. Um, I'm I'm not myself not a member on there so I can't say that I have a lot of experience with it I've heard that people have good experiences with it I would actually um, google that if I you know what I mean but there's people like to review their experiences with everything on the internet so you know what I mean I would go by the people who actually subscribe to it and the, the research that they've done with regards to how Angie's list list the people that they do right. and who they recommend I would look at people's recommendations based on that for you know, more, more so than that, I can tell you, regardless of where you get your references from, um, you have to have referrals. That's important. Uh, but definitely, you want to speak to only licensed people. So if you're going to be interviewing contractors, you want to get at least two or three competitive bids. Never go with the first person and never go with the lowest bid, especially if they're a lot lower than everybody else. Right. So once you, you, know, you have a few people in mind, only talk to the ones that are licensed, and then once you narrow it down to a couple, then ask them for a, a list of all of their customers. You know that that they've done work in in the type of job that you have. So in other words, if you want to have let's say a kitchen done, you want to find a contractor that has a lot of kitchens under his belt and specializes in that. Not that he's doing you know only windows, roofs, and siding. You want somebody that knows how to do a kitchen or a bath, you know, whatever whatever it may be. So. Um, that's really important because a lot of guys try to expand and branch out and say they do everything, and you don't want somebody that does everything. You want somebody that's really good at what you want done. So it's important that you get that list of referrals and speak to some of the people that have used them because if they don't have a long list of happy customers for you to talk to, chances are they have a list of unhappy customers. And right. you'll be able to tell really pretty quickly uh, because any good contractor is going to be happy to give you the names of people that he's done business with if he, if he hasn't had problems. You know, it's like, you know, why not? You know, I want you to talk to these people because they're happy. So definitely uh, get that list and make sure that you call them or go and see them, you know, because right. they'll be a, a really good a good kind of barometer. If they had a good experience and, you know, tell you the guy was on time and he was on budget and he got the job done right and it passed all the inspections, then you can pretty much – you know, count on having a similar experience. doesn't mean that that's going to be set in stone, but you have a lot better chance of having a good experience if you, you know, you check those references and make sure they don't have any violations on their license or any revocations. That's another thing. I always tell people once you get their licenses, go online. It's very simple to go online to the state or the county, wherever right. their license was issued, mm -hmm. and Look you just put their number right in there, and it'll tell you their whole record. It's just it's, it's, it's public information. Yeah, no, I've so, seen, I, in New Jersey, I've seen you can look it up. I, my brother-in-law was a plumber, and he, you know, he used to say, you know, you, you put license on your, 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 you know, your paper, you do your quote on, you know, but anybody could just make a number up and shove it on there. What about, right. I was going to say, what about people who, like, say, like, companies who, you know, they're licensed and all, but yet they send workers who right. are not 
like yeah like i think it's with new, happened a lot i think with new like, jersey plumbers only yeah. only the owner or has to be like a and licensed they work guy under the, the and, bosses yeah they work under the boss's license and you don't know what you're going to get right well if they have full-time employees that work for the company um you know they can have their employees go there and do the work but they're supposed to be under the supervision and under you know that job is supposed to be done technically under the work of the licensed plumber either way it's got to pass inspections and you know the inspections all have the same criteria so if you're having something done like that it's going to you know go through a series of rough inspections and then a final inspection the inspector is going to pick out anything that's done wrong with the job so ultimately that's that's really important that you get all that done but yeah, you're right. You know, a lot of contractors they they take on a lot of work, and they have a you know a workforce of people that go out there. So that's the other thing. Make sure that when you're talking to those referrals, that what was it like? Was he the guy coming to do the job, or was you know was he on top of it? Did he stop by the job every day and check on it, make sure things were getting done right? You know, and you'll hear all different sorts of stories. So you're going to go with the one that you feel comfortable with. But a lot of people don't do that. They don't take the time to check the license. They don't take the time to call the referrals. Um, and unfortunately, sometimes it doesn't work out too well. Yeah, I've heard so a lot. You have, of... to do, you have to do your homework. It's very important. Yeah, I, I, I remember one of the episodes of your show where the two guys showed up and they're like, no, I did the work. No, I did the work. No, I did the No, I signed the contract. No, I signed right. <laughs> You know? Right. The two brothers that right. you were in this last season. We yeah, had two yeah. brothers, yeah. Um, yeah, we've seen it all. Well, actually, I I thought that we've seen it all. Every time we you know we do another episode of this show, we've done 32 now, I think, to date, the houses that we've rebuilt. Um, each time we do one, we're like, man, I don't think it could get any worse than this. And then along comes the next one. So we've really seen, you know, some stuff that have just, it just blows your mind. Some of the things that, that, you know, people do out there and the way they leave people. Um, it's unfortunate. And you know who it's really unfortunate for too, not only the homeowners that are going through all this stuff, but all the, the professional guys, guys like myself that have a license, that are insured, that are professional people that run a legitimate business. Those guys hurt also because these type of contractors give everybody in our industry kind of a bad name. And the right. general public really looks at, at all of us in this business as kind of like, you know, shady. And, and that's something that I'm really trying to change because, you know, I know the difference. And I know that the vast majority of the people that do this work are honest, hardworking people that right. take their business seriously. And, you know, let's face it, it's not easy work. It's hard work. So people that get into this for the right reason because they're, they're craftsmen, they're, they're builders, they, you know, they love to build, that's why they do it. The other people that get into it for all the other reasons, just to make a quick buck, um, you know, they could be selling anything. They could be selling used cars one day and, like, you know, doing your bathroom right. the next day. Exactly. Those aren't the kind of – yeah, those people don't belong in this industry. And to me, they have no place here. And, uh, you know, I'm trying to do something with the show also to, to try to let people know that. You know, that there's a lot of good people out there and, and kind of – you know, once you go through the process and you find the right ones, you'll have a really good experience. Right. I mean, my favorite is is we had someone give us quotes a long time ago, and you know, the first question out of his mouth is, "Do you want to get permits?" <laughs> you know? Yeah. I, you know, I was just thinking that. What about these guys who do all this work? And a lot of times, like they're not, they don't have the permits that they're supposed. to Well, they to don't have. do a permit because that means there's no inspection, also. Yeah. Right. right. I, so I, that's, I, that's something that you know you, you see a lot of, you know, and and it's. Uh, it's just a question of whether or not you're going to find somebody who wants to do it right for you or not. So. I had a I had a garage conversion done on my old house like 10 years ago. And that when I went to sell the house last year, um, you know, one of the questions on the thing is, is all the work permitted and can we get a copy of the permit? So I went down to the town to get the permit and they're like, there's no permit. Right. And I'm like, right, so, yeah. so we had, to so we had, the we had re they had to re-inspect everything. And I mean, it, it was, a, you know, they put up walls and done electrical and you know, it could have been horrendous. They could have asked me to rip the electric out and redo it. I mean, who knows? So I know exactly yeah. what you're saying. You know, it doesn't, you don't even realize right away. It could be 10 years down the road. Your house burns down because they didn't know what they were doing, you know? That's right. Yep. That's exactly right. Yeah. Well, you know, we're trying to, as I said earlier, to educate people and hopefully they don't make the mistakes that a lot of the people on our show made. And we're getting tremendous feedback from our fans and from people all around the world that, that watch this show. And they're like, you know, your show has taught us so much. And that feels really good to hear that because that's a big part of what we set out to do is not only it's just the entertainment value and, of course, the help the people that, that are on the show, but we get a lot of great feedback from people that are watching it that, you know, we're, we're making a difference out there. So 
we're we're very proud of you know having the opportunity to do this show, and we're looking forward to do more. But even more so, we're really proud of our podcast, and we really want to make sure that we get some people to check it out because yeah, I was, we I was, know. I was going to ask you, what, what what are you uh, what are you guys talking about this week? Uh, you know what? We we started out getting prepared about what we were going to talk about. You know, we but well, we just we just did one the other. Yeah, uh, we, we should release one today. So yeah, we really have been off the cuff. You know what I mean? Like we start talking about nothing in particular, and then it, we just because we're in love and because we talk like to talk to each other, it uh, just naturally progresses into a conversation that's about an hour long. That sounded pretty disgusting. Yeah, didn't right. It? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We all do too on the- I just I just heard somebody throw up in their mouth a little yeah. bit over there. No, but it's <laughs> no, every no, every no, gay no. listener of our podcast is cooing right now at Skip. <laughs> <laughs> no, but it's it's really it's we talk about sex a lot. We we talk about oh, so that <laughs> so, so that's what hammering. Well, we have a lot of sex. I mean, that right there is probably you know that that's always built in content. You know, we so, can always we can always kind of like defer to that if we're like shit. What are we going to talk about? We'll just right. talk about last night. Yeah, I, I, guess. I love bathroom humor. I love saying the word fuck. So he complains the whole time about how much I say fuck. Uh-huh. Well, because of every other word out of your mouth. It's Actually, like literally, she like can say cool. a sentence yeah. with six words in it, and like four of them are fucked. It's I'm funny. Like, How do you do that? It's funny you say that because when I when I told Big A that you know you guys were going to do the show. He's like, oh yeah, you know, skip, no, you know, skip's a professional, but Allison will just let rip. <laughs> you know? Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, it's because the word "fuck" is an adjective, it's a verb, it's a noun, it's an adverb. It can be entirely. It, you you can use well, it more times in a sentence. Get technical about it, Allison. It's just fun to say. Well, you know, <laughs> you know, I'm and it's fun to do. I, 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 I'm from England, and I know a better word. What's that? Cunt. Oh, there you go. Oh, well, you said that one. Oh, God. Yeah, believe me, every every woman that pisses me off has been a cunt. <laughs> yeah. Over there, you guys use it a, a little more loosely, right? You use it, like, yeah. for a lot of a lot of different things. Well, right? Ireland's even worse, man. You know, the, the, they could go take the cunt and dog for a walk. <laughs> you know? Oh, really? <laughs> Yeah. Okay. If you watch, well, if you watch, if you watch a movie like Train Spotting, then you'll see pretty much how the North of England, you know, the, the, in America you say cunt and women are flipping out. You know, the only way you can get right. a, the only way you can get away with it over here, I, I figured out, is you don't call them a cunt. You just tell them they're acting like one. So you, you know, there's a little bit of a difference. You know. Oh. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Well, I, I don't know how that works too well either, though, man. No. Yeah, you still end up with my foot in your ass either yeah. way. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. I'm, st- I'm we, starting. We don't to... particularly seem to care for that word. Yeah, I know. I'm <laughs> starting. <laughs> That's off everyone that I've ever said that to. <laughs> I think a couple of podcasts ago, I must have called Judge Million from People's Court. I think I called her a cunt about six times. <laughs> yeah, you did. Oh, wow. Yeah, yeah, you yeah. did. Yeah. Yeah. No, you didn't call her Judge Million. You called her Cunt Million. <laughs> 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 yeah, tell us how you really feel, Allison. Tell us how you really feel. I'm start. I'm starting to figure out the yeah. the, the hammer. Yeah, doesn't hold back. If she says it, that's like she's feels and so. I'm, I'm, yeah. I'm starting to figure out that the Hammer and Nails podcast might not be talking about hammers and nails. <laughs> no, it's a very uh, it's a very loose uh, loose definition there. Yeah, yeah. you can yeah. kind of use that. It, it goes a lot of different ways. Yeah, yeah. I talk about my job a lot. The the law enforcement right. things that uh that my daily stuff that I go through and the criminals that I that I'm working with. And Skip talks about his stuff, you know, and then he'll answer questions about. DIY stuff, you know, people have questions about everything, so he talks about that. We, you know, we talk about our jobs a lot, but we've also experienced a lot in our mm-hmm. almost, you know, 65 years of life, and, um, we, you know, we have a lot of experience. <laughs> I was going to say, 65 no, years? No, that's right? Right? <laughs> You're not talking about me like that. You know what? <laughs> uh, I just want to say my real age. I'm but, uh, old, but I'm not that I know, me too. On, I just didn't want to say how old I am, but that's my way of getting around it. But, so, you know, like, we have a lot of experience with a lot of things. You know, we've both been married before, and we've both we kind of been through it all, you know. So we, we feel like we have a lot of stories to tell, and, and right. it, it ends there, up just being yeah, funny. There's I'm, always a lot of stories, and we do a couple a bunch of different segments we talk about you know what's going on like lately with us and what's trending and and then we do what the fuck which is really funny we always try to you know throw in a what the fuck and that's basically like if you've heard our show at all it's really just something that made you say during the course of your day like like what the fuck like what what was that person thinking and those always <laughs> wind up to be really funny like relatable stories that everybody right. kind of like oh yeah that happened to me 
I so, say I say that at work a lot when someone calls me because I work in IT. So like, if someone calls me and they're like, I, I can't turn my computer on, and I'm like, well, plug it in. You know what the fuck? <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. right. So then you would go on a what the fuck rant about all the stupid people that have called you that have com right. problems with a computer when it was unplugged. I, I, act I actually replace my caller ID with me saying what the fuck when I see their name. I'm like, am I answering this? <laughs> there's, there's like a level, you know. There's some people that you call, they call, and you're like, ah, oh, no problem, I'm going to answer it. But then some of them, you, you're like, this is going to be the dumbest fucking shit on the planet voicemail right, yeah, voicemail right. well that's yeah we we talk about that a lot you know yeah. everything from people on the road driving to stuff at work to just every every the stupid shit like you go into that fucking ralph's ralph's italian ice is an ice cream you, you go in there right and the fucking glass is completely covered you cannot see what their ice cream looks like what the fuck? <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, when I see that ice cream, I want, to, I want to see it. I want to know. Is there a lot of chocolate chips in that mint chocolate chip? Are yeah. there big chips? Are they flakes? What the fuck? So you, so you prefer an ice cream case at a buffet where anyone can open it and shove their dirty hands into it, but as long as you can see how many chocolate chips there are, you're okay. Well, yeah, yes. but you gotta have the sneeze guard, though. You gotta yeah. have the glass. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Like, you can see the Robin. You can Chinese see guys stirring it up. You can see, like, some melting caramel. You know, if something's really fudgy. That's, isn't that how you pick your shit out? Yeah. Oh, shit. Yeah. You're gonna get it all started now, man. Look what you did, dude. I went to, I went, I went to a Chinese buffet. I, I just had my, my stomach surgery for weight loss. So, But just before I did that, I went to a buffet, and they have moose tracks. Isn't that the greatest ice cream? Oh, yeah. Wow. Absolutely. Yeah. Well, it's see like now, if it only has a little bit of size, and it has a little bit of tiny fucking, little bit of yeah. chocolate pieces in it, then no, it's not that great. But you wouldn't fucking know if you went into Ralph. <laughs> 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 That's what I'm saying. What the fuck, Ralph? Yeah, what the fuck? Pisses me off. Hold on. Uh, like and right tonight's podcast is sponsored by Ralph's. And what the fuck? And, what, <laughs> and uh, yeah, go to, go to, go to www.whatthefuck.com. There goes that sponsor. Yeah. <laughs> so, so basically what you're so saying there, is... There's, there's just a little fuck? sample of our podcast. <laughs> yeah. I, I'm thinking that basically when you pick the Hammer and Nails name, you're like, oh, this is going to be a fucking contractor podcast. But, you know, then it went off the, off the wheels and went to what you're doing now, which is obviously going to be a lot more fun anyway. Why don't you call your podcast the Bedells? Well, yeah. I was actually Halloween. It was a year ago, right? Right now, a year ago, we were at the Halloween party at um, Jimmy Kimmel's cousin Sal's house, and we were there with Adam and his wife and their and his business manager. And for that party, Skip and I dressed up as Beth and Dog from Bounty Hunter. Right, had on the blonde mullet wig. Yeah. <laughs> That's awesome. Dude, and I kept it on all night. Even after we got home, I didn't want to take it off. I'm like, this thing rocks. Yeah, and I had my hair teased out huge, and I had on these, like, I stuffed my, my bra with towels, and I had on these huge, long, hot pink press-on nails. And it was then when Adam's manager yeah, those saw... those nails were, like, three inches long. Yeah, and when he saw me, that's how he thought of the hammer and nails. It was because I had those nails. Yeah. You know, and then with hammer, it just, it just kind of fit perfectly. Right, because the, the graphics kind of confuse him because Skip's holding a hammer, but you're holding a gun, but you're talking about nails, you know? Just... Well, if you look at the lettering on it, it's pink and like... Yeah, you know, and my nails are pink in that little picture. Pink and like oh, okay. girly, you know, <laughs> so, Let me get my magnifying uh, glass a second, hold on. <laughs> oh, Come big on, man, big a I know. Big A just passed me a note, I have to say. He said you're not allowed to drop names if it's someone's cousin. I didn't uh, say that at all. Cousin Sal is famous. Yeah. <laughs> what the fuck? Yeah. <laughs> Jimmy Kimmel, Cousin Sal's on the show all the time. Yeah, yeah I know. He's the one who does, like, goes out in the field, like, in the street, and he helps him with the practical jokes. Yeah, Big A, Big A wants us, you know, us to come out and, and fucking curse at one of your people on your show. <laughs> you know? What? There you go. Yeah. 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 Everybody wants that. a piece of them. Yeah, Big A, you should, you should do a bit on, con on Catch a Contractor where you do the, you know, where they get the free options. Options or what they can do. We right. ha have you explain it? The guy that fucked off home before you get to option two. <laughs> <laughs> uh, don't pick on Big A, man. We love Big A. <laughs> I, hey, I can't wait to see what Big A goes at uh, for Halloween. I, I'm sure it's going to be a good costume. Yeah, I'm sure you'll find it hilarious when Allison disappears and it's in the she's in the trunk of his car on the way to the fucking airport. Oh <laughs> uh, shit! <laughs> <laughs> Hey, I'm just playing the role. I'm just playing the role. Get your panties off. 
Oh my god. <laughs> oh, <you're> so <laughs> Big A's like, what are you talking about? Yeah. <laughs> Big A's like, Big A's like, don't give away my shit. Uh, I wouldn't do that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, there's a statute of limitations. It's nearly up. <laughs> you know? uh, yeah, right. <laughs> They're still looking for the bodies. <laughs> yeah, it's going to be a good party. Anything right, over yeah. at, uh, at the compound is a good time. Yeah, I remember New Year's Always. Eve. It was fucking awesome. You know, everyone yeah. was just fucking trashed. It sucks though, because I, I had this surgery. I can't drink right now. So and maybe I, Tony. I mean Tony. It was oh Tony. God, you know, I'm having a really bad day today. Tony. I was Did you say that you can't drink? Uh, yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> no, I was just. You can't, no, you can't drink. No, I was just asking my wife to get me a drink. No, no, I, I, you know what? I, I was trying to no, say I said, Anthony. Cunt, cunt drink. <laughs> I would give you a drink if you called me a cunt. <laughs> no, you, I mean, get it yourself, you cunt. <laughs> he's fucking lazy. Fuck? I tell you, he's fucking lazy. He doesn't know how to use his legs. Every, as since he had his surgery, on his little house. Because he, before before that, I used my ca my legs to walk into the fridge and get some fucking cheese or get a pack of chips. Or... Now he just sits on his ass and lets me serve him. You know what it is? It's like, you know, when you come out of drug rehab, you can't be around your friends that do drugs. I can't be in the kitchen. Right. Mm -hmm. I can't be in the fucking <laughs> right. kitchen. My friend's like, you want to go to McDonald's with me? You can just sit there and eat your fucking protein shake and I'll have 20 nuggets. I'm like, dude, that's like a crack house. What are you doing to me? Yeah. So you you uh, you had a uh, a stomach uh, like sleeve. staple like that type of thing bypass or something? No, I had the sleeve, which is where they chop off eighty five percent of the side of your stomach, so your stomach's just like a sleeve shape when it's done. And the best part yeah, about the best part about it is the part the part that emits the hormone that makes you hungry gets removed at the uh -huh. same time. So to be honest, I literally have my, on my phone an alarm to tell me when to eat. If I didn't follow follow my schedule, I just wouldn't even be bothered. I could go to the wow. buffet right now and I wouldn't eat. And if you remember what I looked like at the compound party, you'll know that I ain't had to fucking eat. <laughs> you know? Yeah. Okay. Trust me, well, I know that me when you're you on this. top of me. How do you think it's going to be for the first time seeing your dick in a long time? <laughs> <laughs> I know. I'm really hoping because... Wait, well, you know what? I, I've seen it too. Yeah. It's, it's, well, yeah. you know, it's been hiding it's been for a long time. Long. Yeah. Yeah. He said he had a big dick. No, that was his big toe. <laughs> <laughs> uh, my, uh, <laughs> fucking, I don't oh, know. Well, my, I, I see my dick when I'm looking at a hot woman. Yeah, exactly. You fucking piece of shit. Fucking Fucking cockney fucking douchebag. Fucking Yankee fucking. Buck angel looking motherfucker. <laughs> Fucking slacker. <laughs> so hey, so Skip, you look you look a lot like Buck Angel. Have you ever seen that guy? Who? Buck, <laughs> Buck Angel. No. If you have a if, like if you have a phone in front of you or a computer, you should go, you should look up Buck Angel. Buck, Buck Angel. Yeah. No, Buck. Do the one with Jessica Alba. I doubt it. <laughs> no, Buck Wait Angel. a second. Are you saying Buck like B U C K? Yes. Yes, Buck Oh, Angel. no, there was a show on TV called Dark Angel, D-A-R-K. Yeah. Oh, no. Hold on. You, you, look, look, the, look, oh, look, no, look it up on, look it up on Google don't Images. No, if he, he won't see the, you won't see it at first. <laughs> don't I want to see, it. I want to see what he says. Oh, don't do it. Wait, B-U-C-K, Angel? Angel. Yes. Angel. Yeah. Uh, you gonna, am I gonna pull up some fucked up shit right now? <laughs> <laughs> Wait a second, man. Hold on. Yeah, Fuck <laughs> Angel. Fuck Angel Facebook. Yeah. Fuck Angel Facebook? Yeah, whatever. Uh, let, me, let me see a picture of this guy. <laughs> what the fuck is this guy? <laughs> <laughs> so, this, so what do you think the secret is? What's the twist? He's got tattoos? No. No. Fuck, fuck Angel? Yeah, he's in porn. That's his. He's always got that name because he's in porn, right? Obviously. Right, but there's, he's got a he's got a, a twist that makes him kind of you know special. What a big dick! <laughs> no, actually, completely the opposite. Oh, really? oh, he's got a vagina. That's actually a chick that took hormones and had her breast removed. The fuck out of here! I really? swear to God, dude. <laughs> you know, I'm not even joking. Really? Yeah. Well, I would all have right, never I'm looking at that. some picture. Um, well, this is just on like the Facebook, so I don't see anything explicit. No, so. if you if you go on, holy so fucking shit! If you go on Google Images, oh my god, Big A just looked in his favorites, and he's got a picture. She's got a huge box. Wait, too. transsexual porn star. Okay, hold on. Yeah. I'm a man, baby. Now I can get. Okay, hold on. Wait, hold so, on. Let me see what he I can... or she, whatever it is, has got a big one. Turn off safe search on Google. He's got Wait, a big so vagina. He, so he. 
did, did he have the sex change? Does he no. still have a vag or yes. he's got a, a dick? No, he has a vag. No. Really? Nice. All right, I don't see any naked pictures. I just see like him with no shirt on. Yeah, tattoos. well, you, you guys can check that out later, but we're having him on the show in two weeks, so if you guys want to call back. <laughs> yeah. Oh, no shit. Okay. Maybe we'll just be there live. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, yeah, I, I, it, it, I wouldn't mind seeing person. it in person. We get a look yeah. at that thing. So wait, so he's a dude from the waist up, but he, he's got he's got a vag. Yeah, yeah. He, ha he had his breast removed, and then he took a ton of testosterone, and I would love to see he what grew he a beard. Like before. He, he, that's a, I, actually, if you look on Google, you will find a picture of a girl, and he was actually kind of cute, not horrendously he's cute. Got a mustache. Right, but he didn't. Yeah, that's all grown from the hormones. Yeah, from it's taking. Grown from the hormones. Uh, yeah. Wow, that's a chick with a full stash and beard? Yeah. Not anymore. Yeah. Holy. So wait a second. These are chick boobs. Yeah, but they had she the actual uh, you know the the bit you know where you take the you put implants, they took the inside out. Like they remove when people have breast cancer. So the physical breast was yeah. removed right, just yeah, the skin yeah, was. Yeah, out. I got it. Yeah. All right, so all right, so let's get back to your point. I I look like Buck Angel. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> That's an insult. Uh, I'm just insult. Insult now, now that I've seen what Buck Angel looks like. Are you saying that I have a pussy? Is that what you're well, I, I, I haven't listened to your podcast. I don't, maybe that's come up. Uh, <laughs> you know? No. Well, I can assure you that I have something very, very opposite from that. Hey, it could, it could be just a, it could just be a massive clip. I'm, I'm the extreme opposite version of that. <laughs> So basically, you, you, imagination. so you have a cock, and, you have a cock and big tits. Yeah. <laughs> now you got it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so any, if anyone's listening still, <laughs> you, you can go to skip and alisonbedell dot net. You guys need to get a better domain name than that. Couldn't you get the dot com? No, well, should we have? Um, we've got. Um, hammerandnailspodcast.com oh, okay, There's skipbedell.com We have alisonbedell.com There's lots of dot coms out there okay. yep, so, so whichever one you can remember the best But you can get to our podcast directly By going to hammerandnailspodcast.com And is that's available on iTunes And all your good podcast providers? And it's also available at iTunes and Podcast One it's actually even on a player right on our website, so you can go yeah. to our website and, and access it right from there, too. Awesome. Yeah. It's all over the place. Right. Yeah. The benefit of going to our website is that there's pictures there that we post, and if we talk about something like um, that, that we have pictures of, we'll post the pictures. If there's products that we talk about, we put links to those products. Right. We, we actually do video on Ustream as well. You can do that for free. You know, you oh, go you guys do in your, um, is your podcast video also? Yes. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. cool. Yeah, we can't do that because we're always naked when we do our podcast. <laughs> right. Hey, I'd watch. Right. Not for fucking Skip, though. Let me clear that one up. <laughs> I, I mean, if Skip... I don't know. I wonder about you sometimes. If Skip does have a big All vagina, I might check watch. it out. <laughs> oh, shit. Yeah, if, if you two are scissoring, it might be interesting. Oh, God. Oh. <laughs> So, uh, Big A, wow. you got any more questions? Come on, you asked like one question. Come on, What's speak, on? speak. Oh, tonight I had your problem. I was stuttering. Tonight. Big A's Jewish. He needs to find somewhere good to bury his money. What's the best uh, thing to bury? <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm sure Big A has some good legal advice, or uh, maybe yeah. <laughs> <laughs> of course. <laughs> yeah, he was Johnny Cochran was working for him until he died. Big A, can you teach me how to balance my checkbook or? Uh... <laughs> Maybe uh, fund my retirement plan. He'll balance it, but then it'll take you know forty five dollars an hour to do it for you, so it won't work out. Right, right. <laughs> well, you know. <laughs> yeah, my God. Oh, well, I'm gonna skedaddle because I have some housekeeping to do here. No, you got some other things to do. Yeah, that's what I mean. I yeah. thought you guys were. I thought you guys were. I thought you guys were making the Adam Carolla money. Yeah, cutting into my ass time. Yeah, well, you know, it's not, what does it matter? Two minutes now or two minutes later? <laughs> but I thought you guys were oh, making. Stop talking no, about yourself. Shit, you've just stepped over my line four times. I, w I was going to say, I'm Skip's making the Adam Carolla money. Can't you get like a butler? Oh God, I wish I was making the Adam oh, Carolla. Oh God. No, nah, I'm still out there working for a living, man. I'm still doing construction when we're not filming the show. Maybe someday. Oh. Well, you know what? You got. If we get some more listeners to our podcast, we'll actually get some sponsors and be able to make some money because right now we're just paying for it. So. Yeah, yeah, really. Yeah. Hey, shit! You should you should call fucking Angie's list, man. That would be a perfect sponsor for you guys. 
Yeah, yeah, we've actually thought about that. That might be a good sponsor for our show. So until you start we're talking about, we've up a bunch of sponsors now. So uh, we're we're finally getting to that point where we're getting a bunch of listeners and we're getting a lot of really good feedback. So. You know, it takes a little while before you start getting the sponsors lined right. up, but they're, it's starting to slowly happen now. So yeah, you might not want to send Allison's lip. You know, I mean, Angie's list the clip of you know, Allison giving you a rim job. That might not. <laughs> <laughs> well, Angie's list will hear how many times we say fucking cunt. And yeah, exactly. Be <laughs> <laughs> right up there with Ralphs. Yeah, well, yeah, yeah. well, you know, maybe Angie is a cunt. Who knows? <laughs> you know. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So, all right, so if you guys have any more plugs or we, you know, anything you want to mention before we say goodbye? Well, definitely the podcast. And we thank you guys for plugging out the hammer and nails. Oh, and um, hopefully oh. we're, we'll be able to have a, a schedule for you with our show, Catch a Contract, hold coming on. up yeah. soon. Yeah. Uh, as soon as we hear that, we will. Oh, hold on. Shit, I just fucked this up. Did you just disconnect them? Hello? Hold on a second, Chris. I just fucked up the call. All right. You want me to call back? Yeah, hold on. Yes. Skip, are you still there? No. No, Skip. Ah, uh, fuck. Well, Shame uh, on you. I just, fuck tried, up. I just fucking I tried to answer the call <laughs> to Skip. I thought you should have this down pat by now. Yeah. Just Shit. not. Hold on a second. Let me text him and say, call back for his plugs. Fuck. Oh, I went to my answer the call and pressed the wrong button and dropped him and fucking took the call and said. What the fuck? What the fuck? Yeah, what the fuck? It's one of those things where you try to get a guy to do his work right and he fucking can't. What the fuck? Oh my God, Shame on you. That was pretty cool, though. Oh, yeah, yeah. it's yeah, a great interview fun. until you yeah. fucked that up. Yeah, well, they were just saying goodbye, so I mean, hopefully... Still, yeah, you fucked up still, anyway. doesn't matter. You fucked it up. Shame on you. Oh my god. That's a big F you for no filter Paul today. That's all right. Um, I mean, yeah, I, I stuttered a couple times. I couldn't get I couldn't I was, get what I wanted to and say also, out. And also I was, also I was show is so professional. Um the, the, I um, I don't know what the I hell followed. it was on my phone. I had it on silent, but so, I guess the videos Hey guys, I'm sorry. I tried. I someone called and I tried to swap out. You know, put that person into the call and it. You it, fucking it, cunt. Yeah. Well, I, I get back to him. I'm like, what the fuck? I'm you like, I'm like, I'm, I'm like, up on us. I'm like, after yeah. all of that, these motherfuckers are gonna think that I just fucking hung up right in the middle of his plug as an asshole. <laughs> you know. <laughs> what the fuck? You were like, hey, is there anything else you want to plug? Yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, you are going to be this week's what the fuck. Nice way to get on a podcast. You could have just asked. It, it's, it's ironic because it's that's a it's very similar way I get on Anthony's show on Opie and Anthony back in the day. You just piss them off? Yes, exactly. <laughs> oh, God. Uh, well, what we were what we were just closing out with is that we're on Facebook and Twitter and Instagram. We are notorious for interacting with our fans. We love to communicate with everybody, so follow us there. We've got a Hammer and Nails page on Twitter and also on Facebook, so if you can just follow us there. Well, they can also go Absolutely. on to uh, Skip the Dell and Allison, but they'll do. We, talk yep. to, yeah, we, we answer everybody's questions and stuff, so we love talking with the fans. Yep. Okay. Right. That's it. All right. Is this, this is the part where he hangs up on us again. No, I'm not. <laughs> what the I'm fuck? Not, uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. Hello? 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 Not there. Let's go fuck. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? Cunt. <laughs> yeah, fucking cunt. Fucking guy hung up on me again. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, this has been fun, guys. Yeah, Thanks definitely. Right. You too. Thanks definitely. Time, man. Big A said you're a fucking uptight cunt, so I guess you I want. I did not say <laughs> that. <laughs> <laughs> no, you can leave the uptight part out. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I told you it was, I told you it was like Buck Angel. <laughs> All right, hold on. We have a caller. Let me see if I can fucking do this right this time. Uh, yeah. All right, hello. Let's do this again. It was fun. Thanks for having us. All right, no, wait, hold on a second. Are you there, Chris? Let's see. If Nicole yeah, has hey, a question. Skip, real quick, uh, two things. Adam, does he really know how to do shit? I mean, it looks like he does, but he, he really yeah. was a general Adam, contractor. Uh, Adam he, does. Before he was ever into entertainment, he was a carpenter for years and years before he got into doing anything with uh, entertainment. So he started out as a laborer, like digging holes and cleaning up construction sites. And, uh, you know, worked his way up to Carpenter. So he's got a pretty good working knowledge of, uh, of you know, a lot of stuff. So that, 
that helps us out a lot, and it makes us, you know, a good team because we can kind of go at it, uh, you know, together. So, right. And then the last thing is, so Paul told you he got his, uh, you know, surgery for his uh, his sleeve thing. Now, would you? Could you? Because you, I, I could tell you work out and shit like that. I mean, could you think like if you were around here, you could whip his ass into shape and you wouldn't <laughs> have to fucking do this thing or? Or, uh, yeah, man. Oh, I definitely, I could, uh, I definitely show him a couple of uh, exercises to do and and uh, burn off some extra calories. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, Paul's not too. He don't want to get too physical, so. No, nah, man. I'll, I'll be doing like some boot camp shit on his ass. Yeah, over I was gonna there. say, please don't say fucking. Funny. funny. If we get video, <laughs> that, that'd be a great <laughs> video. <laughs> well, you know what? Maybe maybe at the uh, the party, I'll have you make a video with us real quick. <laughs> yeah, that would be awesome, man. I guarantee you'll throw up in less than thirty minutes. Uh, with, with, my, with, with my little two, with my little two ounce stomach, I, I'm. Oh, get, I thought I'm, you were gonna say with your two, your little. No, two, stop. Two inch dick. Yeah, two inch dick. <laughs> <two, laughs> <two, laughs> fucker. Uh, <laughs> you know what's funny is well, when when. Well, however big it is, you're gonna get to see it now finally, so that's gonna be good. Well, I'm I'm well, I'm no, good. At least I know. They, no, it would just be nice to happy. feel it. The other thing is, now that Paul doesn't eat anymore. He doesn't shit, so he usually would shit. Denise was saying because he was sh he was shitting on the toilet to work, and <laughs> he was shitting on on the toilet at at home. So at, at least home. now that you that doesn't happen anymore. Shit, <laughs> I haven't took a shit. Just basically, he doesn't shit anymore at all. No, I, it, they they say yeah, that it, 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 it's normally at, at least four days before you take a shit because all I'm doing right now is protein and little two ounce meals. With, which is just like chicken or fish or whatever, so it's all protein. It's like you're shitting rabbit pellets. Yeah, but every, <laughs> I, I, I shit one, one red rabbit pellet every four days. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> wow. It's in the toilet. Yes, Chris, Chris is actually the... Does, the does uh, it at least come out easily, or do you still have to push like you used to? <laughs> yeah, no, they are... That would be really frustrating if you were like... Uh, yeah. Bloop. <laughs> yeah, well, that, 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 after all that pushing. that's pretty much what happened the first time I shit after yeah, the surgery. Yeah, I'd be pissed, because I'm always very, very satisfied when I stand up before I flush it. I like to turn around and look at it. It's like I gave birth. I'm like, look at that. Yeah, I Sometimes I even call it, I call it Allie. I'm like, you got to see this thing, man. <laughs> oh I, re I, I remember when I lived in England one time, I, I, I shit out this log, and it was literally sticking out of the water about eight inches. It was the biggest part. Oh, yeah, that's a shit bird. I went, I... I went and I went and got all my friends. That's why you need to listen to our podcast. We go into great detail about these that's things. That's when the shit piles up so high it actually breaks the water level like an iceberg. But I call it a shitberg. That, that's shit like burn. that's a daily occasion or event for me, man. You got to stop eating that well, fucking protein shit. Hershey squirts. That, that's his problem. He he used to do the Hershey squirts all over the fucking. Seed on the walls. <laughs> I mean, he really fucking dirty the uh, bathroom. So, were you the one who did it downstairs? Wait a second. No. Is she squirting or he's squirting? No, she no he was he was squirting all over the fucking all over the bowl. I mean, I squirted when he, in a different was funny, manner. Like, because we, we work together, and Chris is the bathroom attendant out, on my job. Yeah, when he when he, he was out, the, the toilets. toilets were clean. <laughs> but before that, they were dirty and. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, I think he was doing it. He doesn't admit to it, but... <laughs> I told you! One time one time we went in there and there was shit on the wall to the left of the toilet, so like, you'd have to be like, sit at an angle to even fucking pull that off. And then there was... And there I was don't know who the fuck did that. It was shit on the toilet roll holder as well. How the fuck do you shit in three directions at the same time? I don't know, man. We got some nasty people we work with. <laughs> <laughs> wow, man. What's hey, uh, Skip, you, have you ever done an upper decker? <laughs> oh no, the that's where you shit in the day? tank. Yeah. So that when people uh, flush, yep, they, they can't get rid of the shit. <laughs> 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 Alright, Allison, awesome, there's, Allison, there's, Allison, there's one yep. more. What, what about the dry docker? The dry docker? What's that? You, you, that? You, you turn the water off and then you shit in the tank. <laughs> 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 so it stinks, but you can't flush it because the water's off. <laughs> 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 that is nasty. <laughs> well, I'm still looking uh, for somebody to give him a blumpkin. He hasn't found that yet. Oh my God. I don't want a fucking blumpkin, you this faggot. This is the kind of stupid shit we talk about all the time. So. Yeah, Allison, Allison, have you I ever given it. have you ever given Skip a blumpkin? 
A blumpkin? Oh, I don't yeah. know. What is that? It's where you're blowing him while he's taking a shit. Oh. Yeah. I would have to say no. <laughs> that's, that's no. That's too long. <laughs> you're getting pretty fucking sick. Oh, that's, that's <laughs> shit. shit. <laughs> wow. Wow, you've got like a whole like uh, vocabulary going on. You got a whole list of these things. <laughs> yeah. Well, well, Chris likes the rusty trombone. <laughs> oh, I do. <laughs> that's that, that, trombone. That's I, where. I've that's heard that, of this. So that's me in, remind me. That's where you lick the guy's asshole and pump his dick at the same time. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god! Wow. How much experience do you have with these things? <laughs> I, I saw it on YouTube. Well, he's, he's yeah. 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 I know you haven't seen your dick in a while, but it sounds like you have a very active yeah. sex life. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I, I like to look at my wife's... Bones, yeah. Donkey punch. Plumpkin. <laughs> donkey punch is raw, man, but I saw a movie about that one time where the guy punched her too hard and killed her. Oh, shit. Yeah, that's not good. Yeah. yeah that ain't good. That's not good. Unless, of course, you're Big A and you have a big trunk. Yeah. Well, I can, a I can actually send you a video that proves Big A doesn't have a big trunk because he, he got caught on Pow Talk years ago. Some chick in New Zealand was telling him how great he was on the radio and uh, yeah. asked him to fucking jerk off for her, and then she sent the video to O&A. <laughs> oh, no. Really? Yeah. 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 <laughs> Somewhere out there, there's a video of Big A jerking off. I have it on. I have it on my drop. I have it on my Dropbox. I can email it to you right now if you want. Oh, all right. <laughs> <laughs> That's Paul jerks off. Paul, yeah. you know, did you see the video of you when you were walking around in a diaper? Yeah, of course I've got a video of that. Yeah, I, did, you, did Skip see that? Yeah, Skip. I uh, in uh, a couple of years ago on O and A, they made me take uh, super lax lax super laxative, and then they put me in a diaper, <laughs> and and then they they made me walk through Fifty Seventh Street on New York, and then they wouldn't let me in the studio, and then finally they did, and then they, they wouldn't let me out until I shit myself. Oh, I was just in the diaper, yep. <laughs> and you can see a link to that in the video section of dysfunctionalpodcast.com. <laughs> wow, you, you posted that? <laughs> Dude, I posted it in 1080p high def. Because we're uh, dysfunctional. Is that right next to Big A jerking off? <laughs> no. <laughs> no, we have to post that though now. No, I don't want my YouTube account <laughs> fucking closed. <laughs> Wow. Just, just uh, send us a message for a private link. Yeah, all I, all, all I know is that the, the chick that Big A was looking at couldn't be very attractive because you know he only had about an inch on. Uh, <laughs> that's the explanation. She was a fat pig, right, Big A? If she was hot, you would have had ten inches, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but that was that was Big A fully aroused. So. <laughs> <laughs> hey, pretty sad. Give Big A some credit. At least he lost fifty pounds on his own. Fifty-eight. Some fucking you surgery. Are you a lazy yeah. fuck. Sixty. <laughs> yeah, Big A was looking very svelte last time I saw him. He was looking good, really? man. Like he's been oh, leaning yeah. down, yeah. doing some uh, jumping jacks. Or yeah. Well, what you missed in that time you haven't seen him is he got fat again, and then he got now he's getting oh, and no, he no. now he nearly died in the hospital, and then now he's coming back again. He's down about sixty pounds. He's got like a personal trainer. Wow. Yeah. Good for you. Okay. I'm proud of you, man. That's yeah. great. Yeah. yeah. He's doing George great. and Jim have a personal trainer. The guy lays Wait on top of him and does the rusty trombone to him. Wait <laughs> <laughs> hey, so you've got to, got to uh, earn that $100 an hour somehow. Yep. <laughs> You're forgetting big age Jewish. If the, if the guy gets more than 12 bucks an hour, I'd be surprised. <laughs> oh. no, it's oh, whatever he's doing, I guess it's working 60 pounds, man. That's that's a lot of weight. Yeah, all I know is yeah. the big age trainer will get thrown out of the country if Trump becomes president. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> he's Jewish. Like me. He's Jewish. Uh, well, you, that's, you, that's you, you go. Cool, big A, man. Keep up the good work, brother. So yeah, much. good job, Big A. Yeah, yeah. I'm down. Come I'm gonna be. I'm down 39 pounds, but you know, hey, I took the easy way out, right, Chris? <laughs> yeah, Paul. But if you, if you, 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 you impressed me, if yeah. you, you like actually do. I've only had it. For, I only did it three weeks ago, Skip. Oh, How many weeks right. ago? Well, all right, at least a hundred of them. Yeah. How many weeks ago? What? What the fuck? How many oh, weeks man. ago? What the Three. fuck? <laughs> yeah, what the fuck? What the fuck? <laughs> New cash face. What the fuck? Well, at least show us something and, and go to the gym when, uh, when, uh, 
somebody invite you or get a personal trainer. No, well, you are well, able to well do some I, I've got to get physical. I've got to get shit, even though you don't do any physical. All right, shit Chris, anyway, we don't so. care no more. I, basically, I, I go to the doctor <laughs> soon, and they, if they clear me for going to the gym, I'm going to go to the gym twice a week with my boss. Yeah, right. No, I am. Well, I can see that. Yeah, I don't believe it either. No, he's got his his wanking game down, so maybe you can take a couple of pointers from him because I hear that burns a lot of calories too. Oh, Paul's yeah. a pro at it. <laughs> Big Paul Ace, is a pro at it. He Big has Ace, no uh, problem. He's got very strong wrists. Big A's right arm looks like your skip. He's got the fucking muscles at the top. <laughs> The rest he's got like one really big strong arm and the other one's like all fucking wimpy looking. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what watch out for that right hook. <laughs> That's his jacking arm. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> You know, so you know what? Sometimes uh, he likes to. Guys, uh, I'd love uh, to sit and talk about all, right. uh, all this craziness and uh, Big A jerking off and all that all night. But <laughs> I have to go and do some of that uh, that stuff myself right now with the other half here. So, <laughs> I, I look well, for. I look. Love the show. It's a good show, man. Yeah, and I look hey, forward to. Uh, I look forward to you having to play this on your podcast right after they fire you from Catch a Contractor for this. <laughs> well, listen, man, you always got to have a plan B. Baby. Yeah, exactly. I'll myself up here, you know. Yeah, I mean, exactly. Look, it's just a matter of time. It's the way to go. <laughs> All right, so uh, make sure the show's, you... The show's doing good. We're really excited about coming back, too. So we look forward to announcing when uh, when we're going to be coming back with season four. So we should be hearing very soon, and you guys will be the first to know. So Excellent. Thank right. everybody Thank for you. watching this. Me too. Us. All right, guys, we appreciate it. Chris, you staying on or are you going off? I'm going off, Paul. All right. I'll, All right, I'll see everybody later. Good. Good. We'll talk to you soon. Thanks All a lot right. for the call. Take we care. appreciate it. Goodbye. Right, bye.